<laughs> Hi, what's up, YouTube family? Hi, I'm Maya Renee. Oh, I forgot to shut the door. Well, actually, you forgot to shut the door. I don't live here. I'm a guest. Uh-oh. You do live here, just not in the room. I do. You live in here in your room? Basically. If you want to watch my TV while I'm gone, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so weak. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am my Renee, for those who do not know me yet, and welcome. Today we have a special guest. I'm Stevie. <laughs> this is my bestie and roommate. <laughs> um, so today we have a story time. We're spilling tea. Um, I don't know what to say about it. Um We'll just get into the video, so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Alright, so to give y'all a little background, like, upstairs, y'all hear them in some of my videos, a lot of my videos actually, how they're always stomping, y'all have never heard them, like, yelling or anything, but y'all definitely hear them stomping a lot. Um, but basically, they're always loud, and whatnot, and... <laughs> I'm bad at this. Okay. All right, so loud is pretty much an understatement. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like the ceiling is gonna cave in and they're like jumping and I'm, my room is like shaking up. Like, is that an earthquake? Yeah, so basically that. And so before like this, what we're gonna talk about takes place. Um, So probably the night before, pause. Okay, so it's our apartment. We moved in college. It's about to start. Yeah, it's all the way back then in like August. So it's the night before classes oh, start. Disclaimers. We know this is a college apartment, but we know that college kids are loud. We knew this going in, but there's a difference between like a party going on Friday, Saturday, even Thursday, you know, but there's a difference between having a casual party and being a menace to society. That part. And having a party Sunday night is definitely a menace to society because what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so to start the story up, it's the night before we start classes. So it's Sunday night, we're all going to sleep. It's like 10 a.m., we're asleep. I was up still because my class didn't start till 1 p.m. So I was just existing. I probably took a little nap and then I woke up. So, did you want to put it somewhere? <laughs> no. Oh. So basically, I'm I'm like barely asleep. Like, you know how you shut your eyes, but like you can still hear everything going on? That was me. Um, All I hear is like this loud like boom, 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 boom. And I'm, I'm like, okay, maybe it'll pass because they are loud sometimes and sometimes it does pass. But no, it got even louder. And I was like, mm, okay, now what's really going on? And like, I go so on then, to the hallway. No, what were you going to say? And then I get to texting her. I'm like, Maya, do you hear that? And she's like, yes. And I was like, ain't no way. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way. Ain't no way. Ain't no heckin' way. <laughs> so it was the F word. But I was like, <laughs> There's no way like I'm hearing what I'm hearing right now because my room was like shaking. Mm -hmm. And like, this is like the first time it happened. Like there's another time it happened, but like the first time, so we like, like just unconsciously, consciously, what is that? Did I, did I use that word right? Anyways, we like accidentally like meet out in front of the door, like at the same time, like without telling each other. And we're just like, okay, so are we gonna go upstairs and knock or? So um, we did decide to go upstairs and knock. Miss Stevie over here was like, hey guys, could you keep it quiet? And like the girl okay. was just- <laughs> I was serious, I knocks on the door. She says, hello? I said, hey, you know, we're downstairs, we're sleeping. 
um you guys heard like jumping really loudly you know it's really loud and that's what i said and she was just like okay and this is just the first time it happened like this is it wasn't as bad as the second time so let's tell so let's talk about the second time it happened so this is probably like two weeks later maybe three but i'm pretty sure it was like a week or two later yeah it wasn't it's a thursday night this time so basically you know i got I, the next morning i have a 9 a.m the next morning i wanted to go to sleep and i had a 9 30 like thursday morning so i was definitely tired because y'all know i don't go to sleep i'd be up at like 3 a.m record who said you didn't drop that on the car i didn't okay anyways <laughs> Y'all know I be up recording till like 3 a.m. So y'all really know I don't get no sleep. So basically, I'm still up. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. Like I'm falling, I'm feeling droopy inside, like you know. And I'm like, okay, it's time to go to sleep. I don't know where I hear me loud music, screaming, yelling, stomping, jumping. <laughs> like the whole 360 of loudness and i'm just like what is going on and like of course we start texting each other like do you hear this right now like it's a thursday night people got classes tomorrow still like okay to describe the loudness it she felt like, like right under it so she hears it worse than me i was standing it, it felt like i was it was saturday night and i was standing in a packed house party and I was in the middle of the crowd and everyone's <laughs> jumping. That's how loud it was. I was just like, it sounded like a hundred people were upstairs, like on everything. It and sounded it, like And it's that. really only like 10 of them. First of all, I thought they snuck into our apartment was just in our living room dancing around and stuff. Like that's how loud it was. Like they were literally in our apartment at this point. And so of course we again meet in the kitchen right in front of the door. And this time we're like, okay, so what's really going on? And we're like, so are we gonna have to go upstairs again for a second time, not even a month later? And so basically, okay, like I forgot to tell you like minutes before we met up, I went up there by myself and I knocked on the door and nobody answered. Okay, now fast forward again. Wait, what? No, I have went up there by myself to knock on the door and nobody answered. Oh, okay. And I was like, new information to me. Time. Yeah, I said I'm gonna go up there. I was like, bang, 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 bang. No, nobody so answered. We went upstairs, and I knocked on that door again. And then some girl she comes to the door, and I'm. She, this one was kind of cool. Like at first, she was cool at first. Like I get to tell that she was visibly under the influence. But I was like, hey, like you guys are being really loud. We're sleeping because we have like tests tomorrow. We have class tomorrow, and this and that and that. And she's like, oh, we are. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, okay we'll be quieter and then i'm like already walking back down the steps because i'm like you told me what i want to hear like <laughs> i have anything else to say then this other girl comes to the door she's like who are you and i'm like yeah like i'm your downstairs neighbor i just want to let you guys know and you're like you're being very loud and then after that things start to they start to really escalate like out of nowhere they're like this is our day off we'll fight you we'll kill you I fight this, that, and the like, third. Who are you? And I was like, your neighbor. <laughs> and I was like, even though y'all might have the day off, I still have to go to class early in the morning. And they're like, what major are you? What major are you? I'll beat you up. <laughs> that was just like, what was is like, going on? Like, it didn't have to escalate to this at all. Like, at that point, I was just like, these are a whole bunch of like drunk girls. Like, basically. Uh, we went back to our room because things were starting to escalate and then that was it no it wasn't it actually no, it wasn't. i lied because then they went back upstairs after we heard all the threats and whatnot we just came back into our room because at this point like i'm about to entertain you yeah touch me you touch me and see what happens but <laughs> and then basically like after we went to our room all we hear is stomp louder jump jump and then they're like scream at the second floor and so all you hear is like boom 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 like i thought the ceiling was just gonna it was that like oh, yeah. chaotic they started jumping like extra loud on purpose and me being me 
yeah, the landlord could hear about this. <laughs> and then after they do that, that goes on for like a good five minutes or maybe so. And then they start leaving. They they walk down the steps. The steps are really loud, but they make it even louder. And we hear all this like banging, kicking, and yelling on our front door. And I'm like, dang, they're about to break the door down. And I was like, I hope they do because I'm not paying for it. And then like that ends they go outside and they're literally like standing right outside my window because y'all know i got the street window y'all be hearing all the cars go by and stuff so they're standing like right down there outside the window like everybody scream f the second floor and that goes on for so long like it's it was so obnoxious and then finally, like, I don't know who it was, but somebody was like, shut up and go home. And then they start arguing with whoever that is. And yeah, that, that, it was a lot for no reason. Absolutely zero reason. And then probably a month later, they start arguing with the people downstairs. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're just dirty overall. Like they believe in their garbage in the hallway and they just believe in food up the steps, like leading to our apartment, like y'all are dirty. Like there were chocolate chip cookies, like, like in the steps, like the hallway where the steps are. And they were there for a good while before somebody cleaned them up. I don't know who, but it finally got cleaned up. And there was like some fried rice like downstairs and that was there for a good month. And I was like, no, I'm gonna say like they had big bad girl energy when it was 10 of them up there yelling at us too. But when I walk in and I see one of them walking, they be running up them stairs. <laughs> I don't even Very see fast. them. The thing is, I don't even see them like, like I used to see them a lot, but I do not see them. Like they probably memorize when I come home, when I leave. Cause I do not see them in passing like at all, like zero chance. I see them, they're like, oh, sorry, excuse me. I have to like run up the stairs. I'm like, yeah, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that is our apartment story. It's crazy. They're rude and that's basically it. I'm never living here again. Like first chance I get, I'm moving out. So it's that tips no for rocking. choosing a college apartment: choose the top floor and not the bottom. We have learned from our mistakes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that is the end of this story time. If you liked it and you want to hear more stories, just put that in the comment section. If you want to see Stevie over here in more videos. Dislike it, no, I'm joking. <laughs> like the button, press like button. Press the like button and leave a comment in the description. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Stevie Nettle. She's gonna put it like on the screen right here. I'll put it in the description because nobody reads that. I'm joking, I'll put it right above her head. It's gonna be right there. <laughs> and as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, <laughs> I looked evil like her. She said, when I did this, I looked evil. When the sky is blue and my pink for a tour and my boy's black boy.